last breeding season. So he went through his first adult molt just a few weeks ago. It was a sad time for us, but also very exciting because it means he's now a fully fledged adult. He's very cheeky as well. Ginger penguins are those smaller black and white penguins, and they are the third largest penguin species in the world after the king penguins. Our original Gen 2 penguins came all the way from Edinburgh Zoo and they arrived here in 1995. So all of our Gen 2 penguins are sitting on, on stoves. That is because they are reaching the end of their breeding season. In the wild, penguins will build a nest out of stoves exactly like the ones that you see here today. So in about June, the penguins had to start to partner up. Gen 2 penguins are pretty much monogamous and will tend to stay with the same partner for a few years at a time. One of our couples, Horace and Daisy, have been together for over 20 years. They're pretty amazing. Oh, the chickies, babies. So to partner up, Gen 2 penguins will call to each other and also bow. And they will gift each other with stones. And when the male first likes the female, he'll search for the perfect stone and he'll give it to the female that he really likes. And if she likes him back, she will bow and accept him as her mate. Then they go on to build their nest together. Once they settle in their nest, they will lay usually two eggs. And they will incubate these eggs for 35 days after the second egg has been laid. Please. Thank you, thank you. This is to ensure that the, pe that the eggs are hatched together at the same time.